What's going on guys? It's Drew with Profit Monsters back with a new video and this one is actually pretty interesting. A friend of mine reached out and said that they have a family storage unit that they're wanting to get rid of and I just pulled up to the location and I met with the uh, family. They asked not to be on camera, which is totally cool. They're letting me go through this whole storage unit by myself. I'm gonna check everything out and see what I can find. They want to sell the whole unit so I can't just buy little bits and pieces. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna go through the unit, see if it's worth it. And it's gonna be a lot of work. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there and we'll see if we can make some money and hopefully walk away with the unit. Let's go. All right, here we go. I'm literally the only one here. They left me with their whole storage unit, but it's a family friend, so they trust me. It's not like I'm, they, I'm gonna do anything dirty or anything like that, but here we go. This unit right here, prepare for something amazing because this is what we're looking at, guys. This is going to be insane. There's a lot of furniture and a lot of stuff that's gonna take a lot of work, but we're gonna see if there's any profit in any of these boxes. They said feel free to go through it. And uh, yeah, they said they know some stuff that's in here. There are some things that I can see right off the bat um, I know that they said this is a white leather couch, which could be worth some good money. There's some uh, work boots right here in decent condition. There's like a, one of those washer dryer vacs or whatever they're called. You know, you've got a lot of stuff here that is like almost flea market worthy or garage sale worthy. There's like either some camping chairs here, um, one of those um, medicinal like um, handicap carts. And like there was a box right here. They, I didn't look at anything yet. They just told me about this one specific box that there was like some vintage Cal Ripken collectible stuff, some Wheaties boxes and stuff. And um, there's Christmas decorations, but like this box says knickknacks and whatever. So let's go through some of this stuff and see what we can find. All right, so I'm gonna open up this box first right here. They told me I could open it, which is cool. But this one says knickknacks. So this is the kind of stuff that kind of more strikes my curiosity um, is just like random stuff versus obviously there's like furniture and things in here. Um, looks like we got one of those like menu board things or something along those lines. I don't know. There's was something hanging here at one point. It's probably in here, but then you can see there's a big lots sticker on there for five dollars. So this is not anything crazy. And I'm assuming that, you know, the rest of the stuff in here, there's the little bowl that, that hangs on it. They just took it off. Let me see if I can get that on there. There we go. So something like that. And um, we got like a little fish, f electronic fish display or something. I don't know. This plugs in. It might be for like a fish tank or something. Nothing crazy there. And uh, there's like two more things in this box which is like a candle, it looks like a candle holder right here. Let me move these out of the way. There's a candle holder. It's like a dragonfly or a butterfly on it. And then a vase, there's like a little vase in here. So I'm gonna have to kind of rewrap everything as I open it out of respect for them. But the vase isn't, well, maybe it's not a vase. Maybe it's like a milk jug or something, but it's like a, Made in China, Florida marketplace, like this little jug type of thing. All right, first box, not so great. This was the next box underneath it, which looks like toiletries and whatnot. Sometimes older toiletries or soaps and things can have value. Um, and it looks like it's all brand new, like Jergens soap. And um, we got some old aloe, some Comet, brand new, never opened. So not really anything that I see like off the top you know, toothbrush holder, cotton swabs, medical supplies, old Vaseline. Uh, but, you know, there's a used comb in there. So I don't really see anything in here. You know, maybe at the bottom of this box, there could be something, but it really looks pretty weak um, just to, from looking at the top. Not really anything that I would be interested in, but I kind of have to buy the whole unit or nothing. They don't want me to just pick through and take things that I want. So we have to find enough value in the unit to justify boxes like this. Okay, there's a little trash bag right here. So we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you what's inside. I don't know yet. 
looks like there is some clothing. We got just a crossings polo, nothing crazy. And looks like some blankets and towels. And that's about it. I don't see any like vintage t-shirts or anything, but this is um, kind of smelly. It's a Vietnam vets shirt, but it's really old and smelly. So, and then the rest is just towels. Nothing good there. Try to move some stuff around. The mattress is falling behind me. I got tape stuck to this bag. Let's just throw that up there for now. We got another box of clothing. All right, let's find some vintage Levi's 501s. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this box. We got some chaps, shorts. Looks like um, one of those like keep calm shirts. Let's see, this is not single stitch. I don't think any of this stuff is going to be actual vintage. It's just a little Nautica piece. Not really stuff that I would spend my time listing, really. Um, you know, I'm assuming there's probably like no Harley shirts or, you know, any of the cool vintage wear, but let's see what this is. We got some type of tree bird, free bird. This says free bird on it, but it's not an old shirt. There's no tag and I don't know what that is. It's not single stitch or anything, but I mean, it's a start. Got some socks, some PJs probably have to dig through this whole thing there's some boxers we got some jeans right here wrangler and uh looks like just some socks some basic stuff basketball shorts t-shirts socks underwear socks and underwear that, that that's about it in this box and it goes there's another box underneath it so let's get this one out of the way and look at the next one there's a straight up whole toilet in here. Sometimes you have to be resourceful with reselling. There's a barcode. So I'm actually gonna scan this toilet and see if this thing is worth any money online. Uh, but I mean, hey, this could be a, a $300 toilet that I could probably sell on Facebook Marketplace for 100 or 150 bucks. So you never know. Let's get into this box real quick though. It says fragile miscellaneous. weird opening up someone else's boxes but they said I could oh let's see we need some like Le set pots and pans or something this is just plastic measuring cup there's like some glass drink cups or something we got some old uh, basic kitchenware doesn't look like there's really anything in here maybe a Yeti cup nope Rocky Mountain tumbler so nothing really in this one. This would be like garage sale items, but I don't want to buy all this stuff to just have a garage sale. All right, let's check out this Cal Ripken box and just see, I'm not really going to be able to get it to stay up probably, but we got the all time consecutive game record by Cal Ripken Jr. Looks like we got some cereal boxes and some Coke bottles. Maybe it's a Cal Ripken Coke bottle. 1996 Olympic torch relay. I don't know if these Coke bottles have a lot of value um, for resale, but I feel like they are. there are collectors out there. We've got a lot of Coke bottles down there. This in my hand is a Coke bottle, so it gives us a general idea of what's going on in here. Coke bottles. Let's see if what this one says. Cal Ripken, 1995, the record-breaking year. Coca-Cola. Let me know in the comments, would you drink a sealed Coca-Cola bottle from 1995? Yes or no? All right, then we got Cal's Classics Honey Nut Toasted Oat Cereal. Pretty cool. I don't know how much these like damaged cereal boxes have though, because they're, you know, bent and, and crushed and stuff. We got the good old Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions USA. Pretty cool though but I don't really see like tons of profit, but I also don't know about reselling Coke bottles. So, all right, so they told me that there's like, there's a table saw right there, obviously. They told me there's some tools. I wanna see what's in this box. Up here, we got some stuff. 
Um, I don't know if I'm gonna climb. There's all Christmas stuff right there, which probably doesn't have much resale value. And uh, then over here, this said pink dishes. So that could be good. Um, let me move this box. Luckily, there was nothing fragile on that. This said dishes, and it's definitely not dishes. It's just basically trash. So nothing there. This says uh, garage fragile. So let's go to this one. Let me find my box cutter. All right, got the box open and already there's like a couple of broken pieces. Um, and then there's like some glasses like this and I don't know if this will focus or not, but it says like Corvo Soir or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't look super fancy, but I mean, I know some stuff has value like this, but glassware is not my specialty and it seems to be all glasses and cups. So again, just for me, there's not a whole lot of value here. I'm not seeing stuff that I can instantly make my money back on. But there's still plenty to go through. I mean, there looks like a whole kitchen set here of table and chairs. We do have like a king size mattress and this looks like a nice mattress. Um, I don't know what brand it is. And it uh, looks like there's a tote up here and back there. We got blankets, towels, rags. Looks like there's some small electronics in there. We got some pots and pans right here. Let's see. Shout out to Adeen and his wife at Hustlin' Hooks. There's some shoes, a pair of Pumas. If I can get that open. A pair of Pumas and looks like a pair of Rockport boat shoes and some cheap flip flops. Um, okay, pots and pans. This just says stainless steel. Not anything. Like that. This might be Pyrex. This says Pyrex. Right, can you see it right there? I don't know a lot about Pyrex, but I know that you can resell it. So that's promising. Just the lid so far, but this is like stuck down here. We got cold gold coast pots and pans that looks like an emerald pots and pan right there so emeralds does have value which is nice there's something in there kurt's something uh looks like there may be some emerald pots and pans in here which is nice so that does have potential which is great all right let's see what's over here Looks like there may be some like modems and cables and speakers and then there's something in here let's get this all right let's open this one up together it's gonna take me a second to do it one-handed but i want you guys to be part of the mystery should be good and let's see what we got right there kitchen utensils awesome this is just some plastic stuff i don't see any cutco or anything like that in here which is kind of like what you would want to look for you know good brands like that that can resell this is just basic basic stuff guys we got to find some profit in here now that that box is off we can just kind of peep over here there's like a laptop bag or something right there, but there's no computer in it. And this is a Philips DVD player and then a bunch of cables. So keep looking. Okay, I saw this bin had a little shirt sticking out. So I was gonna try to look through it and set up my phone and then it fell all the way down there. So I had to squeeze my tiny little self in there to get my phone and now we're back breathing hard let's see what we got some clothing which i assumed just from this but let's see if there's anything good this looks like one of those flannel type deals we got what winter run made in the usa with quilted that's kind of cool just put some stuff to the side to see we can find anything. These are just some basic Hawaiian shirts. You can just tell by looking at them like king size 
you know these aren't made in hawaii or made in the usa or anything like that we got a crew neck right here let's see authentic eddie bauer that's kind of cool i don't know how old it is but let's see made in singapore that's kind of cool if I can't find anything in the unit that's really worth make, making it buy the whole thing, maybe they'll sell me some clothing if I can find a decent enough amount of stuff and just make them an offer on that. So I'm going to go through this real quick, see if I can find anything, and then I'll show you guys the highlights. Okay, we got another Hawaiian shirt right here. We got Kosi Concepts, nothing crazy there. Got a black shirt. This is a... Uh, old jerseys polo kind of cool vietnam veterans shirt pretty cool and looks like a little dickies pocket tee some more hawaiian shirts which i don't really see any of them having value so we're kind of just going to skip those for now like you can see the tags they're not anything proprietary but i think i see a little Fruit of the Loom Heavy Cotton tag, and it is a George Carlin. That's pretty cool. Vintage George Carlin shirt. He's a comedian. Pretty mouthy, actually, uh, but it is single stitch. What are the chances of that? And it says, sometimes a little brain damage can help. And I think these George Carlin shirts are probably worth about 30 to 40 bucks each, um, if there's more of them. Uh, but it's definitely vintage and faded and cracking so that's kind of cool cool little piece to find we got some more hawaiian shirts up in here and um some boots we got some boots let's see what brand these are they feel pretty lightweight but they are rugged outback right there so there you go there's some boots we got a towel some more t-shirts <laughs> a basic shirt literally a basic shirt this is a uh, Chico shirt I don't know it's not old at any means it doesn't mean anything we got a Florida Gator shirt this is um, on a Rupp shirts tag right there Florida Gators that's all it says nothing else um, it's got a big hole in it let's see this looks like it could be nice. And it's Old Navy. So nothing really there. It's not a vintage Old Navy. We got a towel. We got another sweater right here. Texas Longhorns. That's pretty cool. Knights Apparel though. So it's not anything crazy. Just a basic jerseys tag. But I mean, Longhorns has a huge following, could have some potential for the right price. I don't know if they're gonna be willing to sell me just the clothing, but we got some Fat Farm jeans. These are big, real big, but they're clean. So Fat Farm, we got another jacket here. This is a Columbia zip up jacket. Nothing crazy, but just a nice Columbia jacket. I'll throw that one to the side. Let's see, we got a Napa Racing. This is not a snapback, but just a um, hat. I don't think that the Napa ones are the expensive ones that everybody's looking for. We got some pajamas. We got a Yeti Coolers camouflage hat. It's pretty crunched up though. We got some Dickies. We got some cheap sweatpants. We got some more Dickies. Some more Dickies. Some more Dickies. Some more Dickies. An envelope. This is probably personal information that I will refrain from opening. And it looks like just a bunch more Dickies down at the bottom. So just that one George Carlin shirt and columbia jacket and a couple other little things in this one so let's throw all these back in here and see if there's another bin of clothing underneath okay i'm deep in this storage unit second bin of clothing had like nothing in it worth showing you guys there is a toolbox down here they claim it's full of tools 
this had a lock on it um on the, it's just on that side but then you open it up and it is pictures so nothing in there and uh, then you just got some more furniture which is just going to be so much work so unless i can get this unit super cheap so far i haven't found anything absolutely crazy that is going to make me back my money fast furniture may be worth some money but it's going to take time and all the effort it's going to take to move all this i don't know if it's worth it so we will see but so far i haven't really found the value um, and I don't know what they're asking yet, so we'll have to see about that too. Seen enough of the unit to know what I would be willing to pay for it, so now I have to go meet up with the owners who are outside waiting for me because they just wanted to let me look through things, which was really cool, and record. So uh, I have to see how much they want for it and then hopefully go from there. For me, I'm hoping that it's gonna be less than a couple hundred bucks just because it's gonna take so much work to get all this furniture out of here and put somewhere until I can sell it. So with that being said, it has to be relatively cheap uh, for me to pick all this up because there's so much stuff that has to be gone through and thrown away or donated uh, because a lot of it is not stuff that I'm gonna be able to resell. So let me know in the comment section below what you think this unit is worth. I know it's hard to gauge based on a video, there's all sorts of boxes that have like random things in there that you can make 10 bucks here, 20 bucks there. You know, maybe a little more like those emerald pots if there's a full set, which I didn't see, but there may be some stuff in there like that. Uh, but there's a full bed set and some other things. I think this is a fireplace right here and there's a leather couch. So there is money to be made, but it's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of local sales as well. So let's go talk to them and see what they want and I'll get back with you once I'm done with that. All right guys, so I am leaving the storage unit right now. I ended up not buying it up front because they were originally asking $2,500 for the unit and I think that that is quite expensive for what I think I can flip most of the stuff into and the amount of work it's going to take to unload it, get all the furniture out, take pictures of it, post it and sell it locally. So for now, I passed. Um, they're going to think about it and get back to me, maybe negotiate. So there may be a part two, we will see. I did end up picking up three shirts, which were the two George Carlin shirts that you guys saw, as well as a Harley Davidson like long sleeve graphic shirt. I offered them 10 bucks for the three just because I liked them and I didn't want them to feel like I was not buying anything. There were a couple other things I could buy, but they didn't really want to just start piecing out parts of the unit. So hopefully they end up coming back to me. I told them I'd have to be around a couple hundred dollars at most for the unit. So we will see what they say and hopefully have the unit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have found any decent storage units, let me know or let me know what you would be willing to pay for this unit down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and consider subscribing if you're not. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace money.